ones I've done in ages. Have you noticed actually since I've stopped shouting as a coach and I use a whistle to make the guys do their running my voice isn't going as badly as it used to which is brilliant and uh, so it's a good morning no gym this morning again because obviously I'm resting for the next three weeks or something and this chap here he's in doing a voiceover hello Hi. so so we decided that as he's in it's a rule in fact it's a law that whenever you're working with a person called John and it's spelt J-O-N you must go for a cinnamon latte so that's exactly what we're doing this morning I was trying to video the clock, but you couldn't see it. But I am officially taking my lunch at possibly the latest time I've ever taken my lunch break. Five o'clock. I finished work in half an hour, so there's not really a lot of point in a lunch break. Other than, I am absolutely freaking famished. Off to the track we go then, it's down to do some coaching and I'm going to get the guys to do um, what's called a snake session. Um, I think some of you call them, is it running Indians or something like that, where one man at the back has to run past everybody else and get to the front of the queue and then control the pace for a certain amount of time. So that's what those guys are going to be doing tonight and they're going to be doing it continuously for about an hour. So I'm, I'm hoping to see one or two people dead on the track after, not literally, just yeah, literally, just throwing up a lot and stuff. Uh, so that's the plans for tonight. And then I'm going to get home and I'm going to have a chat with you, if I remember, all about Daily Motion, uh, which is the uh, one of the other video websites that are available in the world at the moment. And quite frankly, one of the video websites that is doing a hell of a lot better job than YouTube. I kid you not. Um, I'll speak to you in a bit. That was brilliant. They worked so hard. It was unreal. And they had to run for about 25 minutes in the end. Um, and when that, there's one lad in the group, and I won't name names, but he is part of the group, and everyone knows that he doesn't always go hell for leather. And even he said, I was knackered at the end of it. So that is brilliant, absolutely awesome. Great last track session uh, before we go for Christmas. So now I'm going to head home, and I'll talk to you about Daily Motion in a second. So then, the other day I was reading an article um, tweeted by a friend of mine, Noltz, who was. Uh, basically tweeting about an article that was people talking about different ways of using video sharing websites and the fact that YouTube is doing what it's doing at the moment and people are maybe going to use other websites to post their videos on because they're sick and tired of all the changes and those changes not working. My phone's ringing, back in a second. be quick because I'm going out shopping but basically um, one of the websites that they suggested people maybe take a look at and stuff like that was Dailymotion uh, so I've been onto dailymotion.com I posted a video today it's a little bit of a tester without even mentioning that it existed and it already has nearly as many views today in the space of about four hours as my video over 24 hours got which is just ridiculous and it's all because they've got things on there that YouTube used to have but they're still working. Things like tags. You know you put your tags on your videos now? They don't make any bloody difference. You could type in bum fiddle farts and still nobody would be able to see them so because they just don't work like they used to as tags because people can't search for them. So they do no good. But on Daily Motion, they still have them. So I put in first vlog on Daily Motion. People type in looking for people for who've done a first vlog and it's there. And they pick it up straight away, whether it's in your tags or in your title. YouTube, get it sorted. Just, I'm not bothered about the layout. You know what? The layout's not too bad. I, I can live with it. But just put it back in the features that actually make a difference. When you've watched a video, make sure it's deleted. When you're putting in tags, make sure the tags make a bloody difference rather than absolutely no difference whatsoever. When people search for you, make sure that they're brought up. When the people sub to you, make sure your video actually ends up in their sub boxes rather than at the bottom of a feed where they will never ever see you. So your video gets lost in a massive great big queue and you end up going from like I used to with 600 subs, getting about 200, maybe 220 views a video, down to what I'm getting now, about 30 odd views a video, and I've got more subscriptions. That just doesn't work. It's ridiculous. Get it sorted. Right, rant over, going shopping. Oh, Susanna has oh, hidden my cake. Oh, oh, I need to find it. Cold. 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 I will go get that. Okay. Cold, 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 cold. Tell me cold, when. Cold, cold, 
God. Am I really freezing cold or am I just cold? Okay. Warm. I can't literally turn around and be from cold to warm. 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 What? It's there. There it is. There's my cake. You, you, cake thief, you! Well, it's time for bed, but as usual, before I go, I'm going to read through a few of your messages uh, from today's vlog. Uh, Marsh Donkey says at 6.39 he was checking out Mr Chef on our new toy from uh, uh, Sasha and John, and he says he's, uh, Mr Chef's got quite a chopper. I <laughs> can really agree. Uh, Mr Mark UK says it's only two weeks to go until the end of the year. What would you like to do next year? I don't know. I'm really not sure. Just be happy successful maybe try and get a bit of our wedding planned as well we've got a lot to plan and we kind of know what we're going to do and we know we're going to have it and all that kind of thing but we need to start ploughing into it there's a lot of paperwork i've got to do so i can get married in slovakia and um, parmigiana says don't forget the christmas vacation which oh, yeah the griswold's christmas vacation what is it national lampoon's christmas vacation that is a brilliant film especially when he's turning on and off the lights and he can't get the lights to go on and off because he's not turned the power on Brilliant. Um, and let's do one more. Uh, Yvette Sharp says, and I'll do two. Yvette Sharp says, I love chocolate and mint. Good choice. And Wandering Dad says, after eight cheesecake? Question mark. It was really nice. And uh, did I ever think I would get excited by a utensil rack when I was a kid? No. Right, it is time for bed. Well, at least it is for me. I'm feeling old, so I'm going to say night night, sleep tight, don't let the bed books bite, and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning, Tuesday. But no gym. Still no gym. No training. I'm just going to sit and get fat every single day. Just like JFH Burr said I could do yesterday. Have a good one. Bye! Didn't we say it was warm, it was nice, it was lovely, and now it is absolutely pissing it down. It's horrific. Where has this come from? And wherever you came from, go away back to that place, please. So we can walk to the restaurant. Because I've never been there before. We're going to Prezzo's and I've never ever been there, so I'm looking forward to it. What? 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 So this is where I've never been before and this is lovely.